Hey guys, today is Friday, November 1st. It's basically almost Christmas. I'm so excited. I stepped on the scale this morning and this is what it said. Okay, so 187.3, that is a 2.3 pound loss from the beginning of October. And I mean, to be honest, I am proud that it nets a loss. I am proud that I netted a loss, but I'm also a little bummed that I'm still above my September weight. I was hoping to be able to weigh in under 184, but the thing that's a little more disappointing is that at some point this month, I did hit under 184, you know? Which that's not disappointing. I mean, that just goes to show, once again, your weigh-in is just a snapshot of where you are on a particular day. And right now, I am 187.3 but I'm also in the middle of a three-day fast and I'm not eating today. So when I step on the scale tomorrow, it could be even lower. But here we are reflecting on just the day and time that I am weighing in and I'll take a 2.3 pound loss. As you can see here, I am 59 hours fasted. Like this is the longest fast I've ever done. I am so proud of myself, but at the same time, I'm also kind of bored, like fasting. I, I realized like how much like looking forward to food and looking forward to eating, like, I don't know, that just gives me some sort of exhilaration or just something to do because now that I know that I'm not eating, at least today, and I haven't been eating for the past two days, like there's nothing to look forward to, which I know is really weird. I'm not eating until tomorrow morning. So, you know, I'm basically just like getting through each day until I can eat again. So that's an interesting, mindset that I didn't necessarily think I would have, but it's interesting to feel. I'm definitely gonna do a fast like this again. Like I really like not having to think about food and not eating and, and things like that. But at the same time, I really need to be aware of like what sort of enjoyment I get out of food and why it's always something to look forward to, you know? So guys, even though my weight isn't what I necessarily wanted it to be, uh, I finished the October fast challenge like a champ. My goal for October was to integrate alternate day fasting into my diet and I did that with flying colors. Like literally, I did not eat a Monday, Wednesday or Friday in October. And that was just crazy to me how quickly and easily I could integrate that extreme fasting into my diet. And that's kind of why I wanted to integrate a three day fast at the end of the month. I was like, alternate day fasting is really easy for me. So let me push myself even further. I'm not gonna say that this three day fast is even hard it's just mentally like tough but like I'm not hungry the first day I had a headache I've been taking some salt and electrolytes but other than that like I'm physically great while I was able to excel in some ways in October I also slipped up in other ways so while I integrated alternate day fasting like a champ I also slipped up on the weekend so I got into this extremes mentality of where I'm doing so good with my alternate day fasting and my meal prep during the week that on the weekends, I was just letting myself go. I was eating all sorts of snacks and foods, some keto, some not keto, and really just relying on that alternate day fast to get my weight back down. And I mean, as you can see, it worked. I netted a loss overall, but at one point this month, I was 183. So I've definitely overcompensated more than my fast has allowed. So I've definitely been eating more than the fast can make up for. So I really wanna work in November on shifting my mindset of using a fast as a way to get my weight down after overeating. That whole binge restrict mentality, you know, that leads to extremes and I don't wanna go there. I do believe fasting is a great tool, but I can't use it just to make up for eating badly. I want to integrate eating well and fasting, and I know I will see some great results. So with that being said, November's challenge is no excuses November. So uh, if you watch me live, I go live every single morning on my other channel, Watch Autumn. I'll put a link to it here. I go live every morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. I talked a while ago about this spreadsheet that I found that I made for myself like two years ago, over two years ago. This was in January. 2017. I had health goals for myself and I was consistent for this month with both exercising and tracking and eating on plan. So I was like, let's do No Excuses November in 2019. So I printed off a new sheet and I'm starting today sticking stars on my worksheet. This worksheet is on my website, www.watchautumnketo.com. If you want to download it, you can download the Word doc and just print it out or you can download the Excel doc and make some adjustments and then print it out. 
I already know that a lot of you guys, I've printed out your documents and are starting. No excuses November today as well. And I'm so excited, but go ahead and comment down below. What are your five items that you're working on on No Excuses November? For me, it's really simple. Exercise, drink 64 ounces of water, practice my Spanish, es muy importante, track my food and stay under calories. And for me, under calories is 2000 calories for the month. Now I do have some planned off days, one of which being Thanksgiving, hello. Um, but other than that, if I can be consistent, especially with fasting and my diet, the rest of the month, I will definitely, definitely net a gain for December. And that's what I'm looking forward to. All right, guys, how did October go for you? Did you reach your goals? Did you set any new goals? Did you reach them? How is your weight? I want to know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next month.